Yes, have you come with questions? Halt, settler. This is a restricted area. How the hell did you get through the Kinrath? You should leave. We are highly trained veterans, and you're just a settler with a toy blaster. We're taking the Jedi to Nar Shada, and that is the end of that. I'm gonna say this nice and simple for your little calf hurting head. Unless you want to wind up dead, leave now. I warned you, but I'm glad you didn't listen. Attack, men! Always rushing into action without thinking of the consequences. What? You're expecting thanks? Kunda is in danger, and you've ruined the best chance of averting a full-scale conflict. Right now, Dantooine is at a critical moment. If Kunda falls, then the Republic may lose control of this system. Still, I'm surprised you were able to get this far. Although you do have your Jedi training to fall back on, every action has consequences, no matter how small or insignificant they seem. And even the smallest choice has the potential for harm. The Mandalorian Wars was proof of this. Intentions mean nothing of a greater tragedy is caused. I need to get to Kunda and warn them. They could be attacked at any moment. If you wish to prove yourself, then do so. Kunda's in danger and they need our help. The mercenaries have allied themselves with the Exchange and are planning to attack Kunda. They've been holding off for the right moment. And now, since they lost their captive Jedi, they'll attack immediately. I'm going to try to reach Administrator Adari. Time is of the essence.
You are the Jedi I've heard reports of, and I am Azkul, leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. Straight to the point. I like that. I will be equally direct. I am planning to take Kunda, and you're going to help me. According to my reports, I have four times as many soldiers as the militia, and I'm committed to taking Kunda. It is inevitable that I will succeed. If you wish to avoid my men eradicating the people of Dantooine, you will make it easier for me to take Kunda. Of course, I will pay well for your services. You'd better reconsider. I can't have a Jedi interfering with my plans. There is a considerable bounty on your kind that I will collect on unless you're working for me. You could have guided this situation to a better outcome. Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. You are the I of course of course you bet Men I trust you can handle this Jedi
recording, it is a... There are many ways. You'd better re Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. I trust you can handle this Jedi. Return to me when you are ready for us to begin our assault. Are you ready? I... Return to me. I see you have found the elusive Master Rook. 
He's told me that his rescue complicated our situation to some degree. I can't say that I anticipated that. I thank you for finding him, though. Vrook has informed me that the mercenaries devised a plan of attack to annihilate Kunda itself. I must ask for your aid again, Jedi. Zaron says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. Right now, just us and the militia. I don't want to create a needless panic. But be assured I will make sure that all civilians are warned in time, so they can get to safety. Though if we lose this battle, nowhere on Dantooine will be safe for settlers for long. Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides that, look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone could make a significant difference. Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide of battle. I have instructed the militia and other Kunda personnel that you are to be provided with anything that can be spared. Unfortunately, that isn't much. Here is a MasterCard key that will open all of the security doors inside Kunda. Anything that might aid you in your task, please use. Soon, all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Zeron. We've been told to provide you with anything you need. Zeron was right about the mercenaries all along. I guess my ego clouded my judgment as to what's best for Kunda. Tochi monas runta, yun bola. Wata grato posa ma bri toshniki truk truk posa ma bri toshniki truk truk pamba pora kino moli rani posa ma bri toshniki truk truk pam. Hoshmanfu ni wado de kuta ma hoshmanfu ni wado de kut in sorana kame gonso pasa sush. Insorana Chuta Insorana Ritu
Something up?
you require anything else, soon all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of them. and coming up with a battle plan. I fought in a war or two, but I'm no general. In my experience, people like you are better at strategy. You want a hand in making the plan, you got it. You sure? Once we're done with that, there may not be any time left before the mercenaries attack. All right, then we got a lot to do. Since you are here to bolster Kunda's defense, I will hurry to the mercenary camp and delay their assault however I can. I imagine that the mercenaries have got two goals in this whole thing. Kill me and kill the administrator. The rest of the settlers won't have courage to resist if they succeed. The administrator's locked up in her office tight, which means that the mercs have to go through us and Kunda's defenses. Thanks to you, they're gonna have a tougher job. That's about it. Now we just need to dig in and wait for the mercs to come. Well, I'll tell them what's there to do. I'm not much for words. All right, I'll assemble the men. I hope you can speak good. I was expecting something more, but you did better than I ever have. You reminded me of my instructor in the Mandalorian Wars. Let's get ready for the mercenaries. If we fall here, all of Dan Twain falls with us. So you're the Jedi. I take it you are responsible for the surprises we've had during this battle. Stand aside. Our quarrel is with a distinguished administrator. This isn't your problem. You have no idea who you're talking to. I was going to spare your worthless life. I see I was in error. I was trained at Malak's Academy. Your tricks won't work on me. You're just another dead Jedi to me. Sorry I was held up, but it looks like I've arrived in time to pull you out of your predicament. Kill them all. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dantooine will not forget how the Jedi protected us from this time. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this reward will be sufficient. I am humbled by your generosity. I will put this to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much work to do. Dantooine will be slow to rebuild, but I am confident now that we will one day achieve prosperity. Kunda is safe in no small part due to you. I feel certain that the Administrator wouldn't have made it without your assistance. I may have misjudged you. In any case, I am free to talk about whatever you wish. We are at war, but it is unlike any war we have fought before. We have yet to even meet our attackers in battle. Somehow our enemy is targeting us through the Force, striking, then retreating to the shadows. The gathering of any Jedi seems to attract them like a beacon. So it was necessary to divide our forces and conceal ourselves for a time until we could learn more of this threat. Great tragedies... Old battlegrounds. Places of suffering all leave wounds on the galaxy and in the Force. In such places the deaths of so many echo. So much so that it is difficult to center oneself. By coming here, those echoes serve to mask my presence, allowing me to investigate the ruins and try to find some clues as to who our attackers are. The Miraluka world of Qatar taught us a terrible lesson. Many Jedi gathered there in an attempt to use the Force to find the location of the enemy. Now the planet is no more. Master Zar, Master Dorak, and many more perished there, and we do not know why or how. But all life on the planet ceased to exist. I was not on Qatar when it was destroyed, but now that it is dead, it has left its echo like Dantooine. It was after Qatar that the few of us left realized that wherever we gathered, we were placing others in danger, not just Jedi. You have more questions for me? Because you defied the Council and followed Revan to war. And from that war came another. Do you know how many worlds were destroyed in those wars? Dantooine, Telos, Sirocco? Do you see now why we counseled caution instead of action? You were the only one to come back and face judgment. But that was because you had lost your connection to the Force. Another casualty of war. No doubt you still blame us for your exile. I had hoped your isolation would give you time to reflect on what had happened, what you had done. But I see it as not. Do you have more questions for me? We did nothing to you. Accuse us if you will, but it will not change the truth. Cutting one off from the Force. Such punishments are reserved for only a few. Although it was within our power, we did not inflict such a loss upon you. Your loss was a casualty of war. No more. Perhaps that is a question you should ask yourself. It is not something I could help you with, even if I wanted to. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your... connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. 
It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. Do you have more questions for me? Force bonds? Yes. It is the bond that grows between master and student. Are you saying you have bonded with another? Such bonds normally grant strength to both, but not to such a degree. Are you certain? Perhaps it is merely what you believe. Still, your ability to form such connections, to influence others, was always a subject of discussion, even when you were a student here. Perhaps it is a punishment of a sort. But a bond that ties two lives together, such bonds do not seem natural to me. And with your loss of connection to the Force, it seems such a connection would be impossible. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber. Still, you and your... It is possible that returning to known... You have more... Have they? I've seen no evidence of them upon Dantooine. Only murderers and raiders. Why would they attack you? You are no Jedi. You cannot feel the Force. For some reason, I believe you. Still, I am curious as to how they would know to find you. Your trial was not public knowledge. Regardless, these Sith have struck, and you survived. This is more knowledge than I had before. And that means the Jedi may gather. If you can find others, or find some trace of the Sith threat, then we shall gather here on Dentween. And from there we may decide what can be done. You have more questions for me? I suppose there is something I should show you. It will keep you alive long enough to prove useful. Now watch and learn. This form is a Taru. Because it is such an aggressive fighting style, you should only use it against single opponents. And don't try using this form amidst heavy fire. Nothing is more embarrassing for a Jedi than to be cut down by a stray blaster shot. <laughs> I don't know how you learned that so quickly. Still, your form is sloppy. Keep practicing to tighten it up and you'll be fine. Something up? Yes, General?
can I help you? Just trying to make a living. It's not glamorous work. Charanana Gundoso remina que el racto curocatada. Charanana Gundoso remina que el racto curocatada. Fiebre toro pat. Teriwana jun conata de la raguna tuna. Dai rinto runca recare papanala ranchinga. De rinto runto waka reque wakerebu. Ninso telepachan corsada ranane. Grail gra de la nota choloren. Teriwana jun conata de la raguna. De rinto runto waka reque wakerebu. Ninso telepachan. Teriwana Jun Konata de la Der Winter Runto Wakare Kwe Wap Gerebu, Ninso Telepachan Korsodara. Charanana Gundoso Remi. Charanana Gundoso Greetings, Jedi. May I be a Is there? Must be hearing things, but for a moment.
Yes, Janu. Just working on the ship. I'm not sure who got her up and running, but I'm amazed she's even space-worthy. Whoever made these repairs doesn't think like most mechanics. But don't worry, I'll get everything in shape. Yes? Is something wrong? At times, I meditate, simply close my eyes, and listen. It is quite calming. I try to treasure these moments before the next crisis begins. Of course, it would be my... I try to treasure these moments before the next crisis begins. That is... Yes? Is something wrong? That is hard. It is not time. Yes? Is something wrong? Very well. There. That... That is... Yes. I have... But if you ever need some medical items broke... Yes? Is something... Yes? Something up? Yes? Is something wrong? At times, I meditate. Simply close my eyes. I try to treasure these moments before... Of course, it would be my pleasure. I try to treasure these moments before the next crisis begins. That is hardly surprising. Like you, I was looking for some trace of... The other reason was the ruins of the Jedi Enclave, and once I arrived, much had been taken from the Enclave. Many artifacts were taken from the Enclave, but these... I suspect the Jedi themselves... Someone has been taking holocrons from sites across the galaxy. It was almost as the situation on Dantooine is echoed in other places in the galaxy, more so than the Jedi themselves. Yes, is some.
How many more do we intend to gather to us? This ship is not the galaxy. There is only so much room. Then prepare for an army, I think, for it seems many more will come in time. They will follow you because you are a leader. Their kind always needs such, even when the figure deserves no such obedience. Do not cloak one word within another. <laughs> friends. Do friends not follow? Do friends not form a hierarchy of their own, no matter how small the circle? I am too old for friends, and when the years settle upon you, you will dispense with such words as well. Because I am not blind, that is why. I see what they see, hear their voices when they speak to you, and notice the change when they speak to others. I know many things. And I know what I am not. I am no leader. I speak with a voice that will never move others. I speak with a passion that goes unheard. They obey you because you are a leader, and perhaps something more. Have you noticed what has been happening? Have you felt it in them? They echo you, either fighting or surrendering to their feelings, their loyalty, their duty. Your mere presence serves as an example to them of something to uphold or something to fight against. Watch them carefully, see their patterns, and recognize the strength in it. Influence can be a weapon, one that you may need before your journey is done. I, I am but a mirror whose only purpose is to show you what your own eyes cannot yet see. Good, and then act upon it. It is a powerful tool to motivate others. That was Revan's way, I believe. It was a strength. A discussion, perhaps, for another time. Ask. That crystal is bonded to you. Through you, it acquires its character and strength. And through it, your power is enhanced. Most interesting. Your crystal does not perfectly reflect your current self. Remove it from your lightsaber, then ask, is there something else you... Yes, have you come? That crystal is bonded to you. Let me focus on the crystal for a... There, now it is fully in tune with... Is there something else you wish? That crystal is... Should your power increase... Is there something else you... She did nothing to your eyes. She has forced this upon you. But such crude methods are the markings of the Sith. Close your eyes. Feel this ship around you. The welding of the droid as it goes about its work. Now stretch out. Hear the rumble of hyperspace, the hum of the hyperdrive. Ignore distractions and focus on my voice. The breathing of the blinded one as she meditates in the dark. Now, listen deeper past her breathing and listen. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear, 
for in fear lies death and You are strong indeed. What you heard were surface thoughts only, but it is something that masters have trained for for years and never learned. That is not the real question you should ask. Is such listening enough to perceive the world around you? It is not. Because to listen to the thoughts of another is much like attempting to see the universe only with your eyes. It is equally limiting. Now leave me be. I must rest. <laughs>